working with Microsoft Access. Okay, so what are the things? What are the things? What are the um, topics we are going to learn in this lesson? Now, let's check what are all the topics we are going to learn in this lesson. So we are going to learn about introduction to database. Okay, working with MS Access, creating new database and tables that components of MS Access. Okay, so these are the topics we are going to learn in this chapter. Okay, how to begin with MS Access? So we all know that for any Microsoft application, we started with a start button. So click on start button, click on Office applications, Microsoft Office applications, okay? So when you click on Microsoft Office applications, we have MS Access here, okay? Select MS Access, okay? Once you click on MS Access, you have the options of a blank database here. Click on blank database, okay? Give it a name, give it a place, okay? So let us say getting started. Getting started with grade 11. Okay, and where do you want to save it? Select the location where you want to save it. Select the desktop. Okay, click OK and click on create. Your new database is created. Okay, okay, once we are through with the uh, opening the access, let us now quickly see the interface of the MS Access. The topmost line is called as the title bar. In any Microsoft Office suit, so the top line represents the title bar, which tells you the name of the file and the type of the file. Okay. Then coming to the next one, it's a ribbon where all the tools are put together in one place. That place is called ribbon. Here we have a tabulated ribbon area that means a ribbon area has many tabs and each tab has a group of commands okay so it is tabbed ribbon okay then coming to the left hand side we have the navigation pane what is this navigation pane we can navigation means we can navigate up and down so the name itself tells we can move from one to a top to bottom so in the navigation pane, we see all the database objects aligned one below the other. Okay, all the objects, it may be tables, it may be forms, it may be reports, okay, it may be queries, all and even relationships. So all these database objects are located, uh, placed one below the other in the navigation pane. Then the record navigation bar, it tells you how many records are there and which record you are working with. Okay, so this is about the interface. On the left hand top corner, we have quick access toolbar. So this is called as the quick access toolbar. In the quick access toolbar, all the tools we frequently use are placed so that it's easy to recall them. Okay, so here in the quick access toolbar, we have save option, we have undo option and redo option. And there's one more thing about quick access toolbar, it is customizable. That means whatever tools you want to add, you want to further add some more tools which you keep using frequently, you can add it in the quick access toolbar. See here, you have a drop down arrow which says customize to a quick access toolbar so here you can select whatever options you want say for example you want um, new option so you can include new option in the quick access toolbar so this is about the quick access toolbar then coming to backstage view when you click on file menu you have the backstage view so in the backstage view you have options like new so where you can open a new database, then you have open option. That means you can always access an existing database. So the database that you have already created can be opened from here. Okay, this is save. So the present database, you can save it or you can save it with a different name. You want to save it in a new um, a file name. You can save it, you can print it and close options allows you to exit. And how, how do you get back to your database? the back arrow brings you back to the 
working area. Okay, so this is about the backstage view. So coming to the next topic that is assigning data type to the field. That means what kind of data are we entering in the field? So there are several types of data types that can be assigned to the field. So let us see what are all the different types of data that can be assigned and how, what is the memory space that each one will occupy or that can be assigned with. So Microsoft Access 2016 has 16 different types of data types that can be assigned. Okay, the first one is the short text. What is a short text? It's an alphanumeric characters and we can assign characters up to 255 characters. Okay, then come next one is the long text. Long text is also new alphanumeric characters. Here we can give uh, characters up to 1 GB. Okay, 1 GB of characters can be assigned. Coming to the third one, it is a number. So it's a numeric value. So one, two, three, or eight bytes can be assigned. And then date and time. So in specific places where we want date to be entered, time to be entered, so we have an option to enter the date or time. Okay, so this takes eight bytes. So characters up to eight bytes can be assigned. Then coming to currency. So currency can also be entered, okay? monetary data or currency values occupies eight bytes then auto number auto number is nothing but automatic number increments say for example i want to enter the names of uh, 10 students in a class or um, 20 students in a class so i will start with roll number one and assign the data type as auto number so for the next student automatically the roll number will have an increment as roll number two and the fifth student you can see when i enter the fifth data the uh, the, uh, the roll number would automatically would have come as five so this is automatic uh, number or the auto number or automatic number increment so this takes four bytes then yes or no so it has an option for logical values also so we can either take yes or no or true or false so such options are also available so this takes one bit okay ole objects so we can include graphics pictures videos audios so this can be included up to 1 gb then hyperlinks so we know what is hyperlink so it's a link which will connect us to the to another page correct so a hyperlink can also be uh, included in as a database type okay so a link of an internet resource at two and uh, one gb of characters or less so up to one gb it can be included then we can have attachments yes we can attach files okay a special field that enables you attach external files to an access okay to an access database is possible okay various types of attachments can be included then lookup wizard this place data from another table so this takes four bytes so these are the various data types that can be assigned to the data or the to the data uh, that we are entering into the table or into the database so once we are aware of assigning of data uh, types to the fields that we know that we have, whether we are going to assign it as a small, uh, short text, long text, number, auto number, whether it's a date and time, whether it's a currency. So once we are perfectly aware about the data types that we are going to enter for each of the field. So now we have to learn to get, uh, get into the next topic that is database components. So what are the database components or the what are the database objects? That is what are all present in the database, okay? The first and the foremost thing for this is we are going to learn about tables, okay? So what's a table? A table is nothing but arrangement of data in the form of columns and rows, okay? It is nothing but arrangement of data in the form of columns and rows. It is called as fields and records. Okay. Arrangement of data in the form of fields 
and records is called tables. Okay, what's tables? Yes. Data in database is organized into tables. Okay, it's nothing but an arrangement of data in the form of columns and rows. That is what we said. Okay, a table is a basic building block of a database. A table is the basic. Without a table, we cannot build a database. Okay, table contains data in the form of rows and columns. Okay, so table contains data in the form of rows and columns a column is called as a field and row is called as a record okay a column is a field and row is a record and we assign data types to this fields only okay so this is about the tables the next database component is a query what is a query a query is nothing but a question or a simple instruction that we are giving to the database okay a query is used to retrieve information from one or more tables based on the set of conditions you define using the table fields that is say there's a big database there are plenty of tables okay and all these tables are interrelated now i'm looking for one specific information okay i want one information from one particular table say there are uh, say 40 to 50 tables now i don't know from where which table i need to get the data get the information that time i'm going to put a query to the database asking it i'm looking for this particular information give me that information okay so this is about the query okay it's nothing but a simple instruction or a simple question that i'm going to pose to the database based on particular conditions of the fields okay we are putting conditions on the fields that we have entered based on those conditions we are going to get the results so this is about the query coming to next database object which is nothing but forms what is a form okay if you remember um when you come to school we give you an application form to fill it up correct so when you fill the application form it becomes easy for us to enter your data into the school management uh, database correct so here also in the database we have an options of forms okay these forms are nothing but applications just like your applications it is a tool you can create to make the entry into the database easier into the table when you want to enter database into the table okay so it becomes very easy with a form huh. next topic is reports what is reports Report is nothing but a database object, okay? A database object in which we are going to present the results of the analysis that we have done. Say, suppose we want uh, the report card of one particular student, then in the whole database, we are going to search for that particular student and get the marks of that person and it is represented in a tabular form. So this is a report. So it's very easy to generate reports in a database. Okay, this is also a database object. So these are all the database objects that we have. First one is the table. So the main basis on which the table, the database is constructed is nothing but a table. Next coming to a query. Query is nothing but a question or an um, instruction that we are giving to the database that we are looking for one particular result based on that particular condition for the field. Okay, that's a query. Form. Form is an easier way to enter data into the database. Okay, it's a very, very easy way to enter data into the database. And the final object is the report. Once your database is ready, once your tables and data is entered, once your query is posed, you need a report to be generated. So it is the report uh, which gives you the result for the particular question that you have looked for. Okay, so these are the database objects.
So once we are through with all the database objects, so let us begin with the first one that is working with tables. So how do we start begin with working with a table? Okay, just before we start, we need to learn two things about it. Okay, so what is that? Yes, views of a table. So a table has two views. One is the data sheet view. What is this data sheet view? It is the default view when a new table is created. Okay, when we create a table, it always opens with a data sheet view. In a data sheet view, you can start entering data in a table. Okay, access automatically builds the structure of the table. Okay, so this is about the data sheet view. Then coming to the design view. What is a design view? In design view, you need to create the structure of the table by creating the fields and defining their data types. Okay, so usually most of the time, we prefer when we are creating a database the design view is preferred because it is as per our um, uh, convenience we can create the data types and we can assign the fields also to that 